yeah, so this is uh, our original maquette or model of Millicenta. This is what we sent to Bravo Fact with our grant application. <laughs> and we were successful on that one, anyhow. Um, so this is, you know, Millicent changed a little bit from this, but uh, she's based off this, this model. Bleeding Art started off as a special effects company, so we did mechanical effects for film, TV, uh, theater, and we've evolved from still doing that, but also doing custom fabrication, uh, props, museum exhibits, um, we do creature effects, prosthetics, and now we're doing our own films. It's very difficult to survive just working in films. So we wanted to diversify. Um, we wanted to uh, put our stamp on things. We had a lot of creative ideas, and we knew that we had the skills and expertise to pull it all together. So yeah, a, a number of factors sort of dro drove that decision, and uh, we brought it to fruition with uh, Skeleton Girl as a first film. Now, Millicent liked to explore niches some might fear, and thus she often found herself within a place quite near. People reacted positively to what we were doing. Um, it's very difficult to make your own film, whether it's a short or, or a feature, I imagine. Uh, so some people were skeptical and, and questioning why we were doing it, and certainly there were some days when we wondered why we were doing it. Uh, but generally it was quite positive. So these are our parts of the set mm -hmm. uh, from Skeleton Girls. The thing that has been most rewarding for us is that we have actually seen something that we've taken out of our heads and made tangible and have created something that other people can experience and enjoy. And I had no idea until I actually watched Skeleton Girl with an audience uh, how how uh, much I would get back in terms of how they were responding to it and engaging and interacting. So that was a really great revelation for me um, and very positive experience. Belong, filling voids with bits and bobs from deep within mum's trunk, trinkets and forgotten clothes, once elegant, now junk. I guess the biggest source of pressure is just being a small business owner. And, you know, aside from being a producer and, and filmmaker, it's, uh, it's like having a baby or, or having a small child. It's 24-7, it's really unrelenting. And I think that's why a lot of people don't last or they get quite burnt out because it is very challenging on multiple levels. Sometimes I don't handle the pressure very well. <laughs> um, you know, I, I do, in my own time, I do things like yoga and meditate. Uh, and I try to work out and I've learned uh, to just walk away from things sometimes if, if I'm feeling overwhelmed and, and the pressure's too much. And Leo and I will talk things out. Uh, but yeah, just really basic, simple things like just walking away and doing something different can make a big difference. I don't live a very balanced life, actually, and um, I think uh, a question might be, what does balance mean, really? Uh, I feel very energized by what I do. Uh, there are some days that are hard and I don't want to be doing it anymore and I want to lie on a beach for a few weeks. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with one's uh, frame of mind and how we're perceiving things. Uh, so I just, uh, you know, I. I try to do different things in my life. I get very bored uh, just not doing anything and I tend to get quite lazy. So again, I, I'm quite energized by doing all of it. So balance, uh, it's like life. It's, it's gonna be a roller coaster. And, and I think that the lesson is uh, learning how to ride that roller coaster and not get super down when you're down in the low parts and um, not being carried away by the highs either. Just, you know, being able to accept the fact that it's gonna be up and down. Mm. I think the fact that we're working on some really um, interesting projects and Skeleton Girl is a great example of that, being able to see that come to fruition. So we've got lots of other plans in the works. Uh, we have a great team here that we're working with and it's exciting. It's exciting uh, as, a, as a business owner to be seeing our ideas come to fruition and I think that's what keeps me going.